What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Beard for Beer Review channel. Back for another review. Changing it up a little bit. It's a rainy, cool Saturday in Alabama, and I've never shot one in the rain before, so I thought I would try it. Hopefully, it doesn't just start pouring and drown me out, but we're going to give it a shot. And what better to drink on this dreary day than a Pizza Boy Sunny Side Up Coffee Stout. 9.5% ABV. I think it's Little Amps Coffee Roasters they used. Canned 115.18. It's always sunny side up. Uh, I don't know. This is uh, 2240 Millennial Way, Enola, Pennsylvania. I've never had anything from Pizza Boy. Pizza Beer Happy is their thing. There's the can right there. We're going to go into the Modern Times glass because I feel like stouts look amazing in this glass for some reason. Here we go. Pouring out like motor oil. Thick, dark, dark, dark cola color. We'll get ahead on that. Here we go. Let all that rush up. Got about a full finger of off-white mocha head. Super pitch black in the glass. No light coming through. I actually brought a light out here um, to help with that. It is just as black as black can be sitting in that glass. Let's get a nose on it. <clears throat> oh, it smells like dark roast coffee. A black cup of coffee. A little bit of sweetness to it. Like um, some chocolate malts maybe. This is, doesn't say, does it say Russian Imperial? No, it just says coffee stuff. Um, it doesn't have a huge roast note to it as far as like roasted malts, but there's a ton of black coffee and some chocolate malt notes coming through on the nose for sure. Yeah, it smells really, really good. It's been out of the fridge long enough, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty, really pretty in the glass. Anyway, I got this in a tray. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but it was thrown in the box. Let's get a taste. Man, that is good. Um, Mouthfeel medium plus. A ton of black roasted coffee, y'all. Um, the remnants, like the leftover on your palate, the back, the finish, tastes just like that first sip of a black cup of coffee in the morning. It leaves that roasted coffee bean note. I mean, it is dialed in perfect for the coffee beans. Um, no bell pepper notes at all, just sweet black roasted coffee. Some sweet milk chocolate up front, like chocolate notes. Yeah, man, that is so good. Um, I will say this, for 9.5%, that is hidden extremely well for me. I'm not getting any booze from it. I'm getting, there's a little bit of chest warmth, but there's, it's a, it's a pretty big beer. There's no booziness in the throat or your mouth. It's just straight up coffee. Um, I'll say this, though. You know, like a lot of times black coffee can be kind of bitter. Like the roasted note is there, but there's this sweetness about it in the finish that is not, it's not bitter. It doesn't leave, I mean, it's minimal bitterness and just, it's not overly sweet either. It's just perfectly balanced for a cup of coffee, if that makes any sense. Um, Little Amps Coffee Roasters, if this is a coffee roaster in that area, I bet they are crushing the coffee game. Uh, I'm going to look them up. Uh, this To be my first Pizza Boy, I don't know anything about them. I have seen other people review their things, but never this one. This, Like I said, it's got a little amp on it with an egg dripping off, sunny side up. I highly recommend this stout. Uh, I mean, it's fantastic. Yep. Way on up there for coffee stouts for me. As far as just plain, non-barrel age, straightforward coffee stouts go, the coffee is dialed in to perfection for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, y'all.
Cheers.